I learned music in South India, which is kind of the southmost tip of India, the little U that you see on a map. And um, one of the advantages, I think, of having learned there is that we didn't write a lot of it down. Most of what we learned was by a teacher explaining something. And uh, you would repeat it after your teacher. And often we ca call our teachers gurus. Uh, so you would repeat after your guru. And that's how you learned. And something that's really cool about that is you kind of learn how to understand things with your body. You can't really read it off. There's no translator uh, in between. And it helps. It also helps with your memory. But you have kind of like a different understanding of, of numbers and counting because you can see it. And one of the exercises that, that really helped with understanding the concept of variables was alankaram. So in Carnatic music, South Indian, what they call now classical music, there's different levels of exercises that you learn. The first level of exercises uh, is called the Sarli Varsay. Varsay means a sentence. And Sarli Varsay is 13 exercises that is supposed to help us make sense of how the notes work. Uh, and the first, the very, very first exercise, our version of do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, our version is a little different. Uh, so basically the difference between the two is that there's a ladder, and the ladder is this tall. And in the version of the ladder that's common in what we call the Western music or Eurocentric music is that the spaces are often uh, equal. And there's 12 spaces. The point is that you have to divide it into 12 spaces. And the spaces between certain notes, or intervals as we call them, is often uh, equal. And we call that the equal tempered system. But for us, the first exercise that we sing, the latter looks a little different. So the space between one and two is a little shorter than what you may be used to if you uh, grew up listening to classical music in America, or if you've learned kind of like the first basic exercises. It doesn't sound like do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Instead, the first space between one and two is a little shorter, and the space between five and six is a little shorter. So it sounds instead, instead of, so with the exception of two notes, it's basically the same thing. But in Sarli Varse, we learn how to explore this ladder of sorts. Um, the very first exercise, which you may know from other lessons, uses something called Adi Talam to count. Uh, it's so that we have an understanding of an eight beat cycle in our body and in our hand. And just in case, I'm gonna recap it. Beat number one is like this, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the very, very first exercise that we're taught very often is and you kind of have to get a hang of that. And the second thing they teach us is how to subdivide that same space into two blocks instead of the one that we just did. 
which is what we call second speed or doing everything twice the speed of what we were doing before. Uh, and that would sound like this. So basically what's happened now is we're putting two notes in the same spot that only one note existed before. So third speed uh, isn't that you fit three notes, but it's just twice the speed of second speed, which means now we're going to try and fit four notes inside the same space. And that sounds like And if you really want to show off, you can keep going. But basically, you need to at least get three speeds down before your teacher teaches you the next exercise.